That was one of the best performances from Manchester United in a long time. And whilst I'm aware that this was only against Palace in the Carabao Cup, the performance of the side was too good to not speak about. The setup from Eric Ten Hag was perfect, especially in the first half. It was completely fluid, shifting between a 3-2-5, 2-3-5 and 3-1-6, as we saw largely in pre-season and in the opening games. What was most impressive though was the constant rotations between the players in these positions. Sometimes Casemiro would drop amongst the centre-backs to form a back three, other times it would be Amrabat or Dallo, and all three could be seen in the pivot as well as players like Mount and Mesbury. Martial will be dropping into deeper areas to help overload the opposition, and this constant movement between the players was causing major problems for Palace's 4-4-2. And the game plan from Ten Hag was on full display for the opening goal. United had overloaded the left-hand side of the pitch, a pattern we'll see throughout the first half, and in turn dragged the Palace 4-4-2 across with them, before recycling play back to Mason Mount, whose first thought when receiving the ball was to switch the play to the opposite side and find Palestri, who was in acres of space. The pass from Mount is perfect, and as soon as it's played, Dallo has already begun to underlap Palestri. The fullback gets to the byline and cuts the ball back across goal, where United have five attackers waiting to score. One of which was Alejandro Garnacho, who finished the move well. And as I said before, this was the game plan. Draw Palace across to one side of the pitch, mostly the left side, and then look to switch play before they can cover the space and then attack in numbers. We saw a similar move again just three minutes later, and this was a passage of play that I really liked. Starting with United building from the back in the 3-1 shape with Onana. Mount dropping deep into the left-back role again. And you can see that he's waiting to switch the play to Dallo again. But just before he does, you'll notice a slight movement from Palestri inside. Dragging Tyreek Mitchell with him and opening the space for Dallo. Similarly with the opening goal, Dallo started the move in a similar position. Another aspect of United's play that I really enjoyed watching was the pressing. It was the best that I've seen United in terms of being a cohesive pressing unit under Ten Hag as a whole. Every single player was committed to the press and it gave United total control of the game. Anytime Palace had the ball, United would force them backwards and then into playing long as a result. Even on the rare occasion that Palace broke through the United initial press, the work rate of the players allowed them to recover and prevent Palace from moving moving up the pitch, as you can see here with Mason Mount. And the pressing is what led to the second goal, with Garnacho winning possession high for the side. The Argentine's work rate was exceptional all game, and he won possession back after a loose pass before playing in Mount, who excellently found Palestra, who was unfortunate not to score himself. And the resulting corner provided the second goal of the night, with Casemiro converting once again from a set piece. After the goal, United continued to press extremely well and were constantly looking to switch the play to the right-hand side through Mount, Amrabat and Casemiro. In the second half, Palace had switched to a back five in order to deal with United's switches of play. And it worked pretty well for them, although the game was over at this point. United had total control and the move for the third goal was phenomenal. Drawing in the Palace high press and then cutting through it with an unbelievable pass from Varane to find Lindelof in space. United worked the move really well, interchanging quickly between the Palace players. Martial and Garnacho had switched positions, and after picking up the second ball, Casemiro's perfect cross picked out Martial at the back post, who matched it with a top finish. With United once again demonstrating how to play through a press, move up the pitch as an attacking unit, rotate with one another and finish off the move with a goal. The performance was top draw from the side, total control in the game. It was a near perfect team performance, both in and out of possession, and I'm sure that Eric Ten Hag will be more than pleased with it.